Hey guys, Matt here, coming at you with another set review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO City Fire Speed Boat. This is set number 30220. This set came out in 2013, contains 40 pieces, and comes with one minifigure. And this set is actually a polybag set, I believe, so I don't know if you can find it in LEGO stores. In fact, you can't find it in LEGO stores anymore because it's not offered, but you can still find it online. The minifigure you get with this set is this sort of Lego firefighter minifigure here. He's sporting the newer fire uniforms, which I think are absolutely fantastic. So he's got printing on his legs with these sort of little reflective bits here, as well as reflective elements on his uniform, which is sort of orange and yellowish. He's got a little radio, some pockets and whatnot. And of course on the back, he has the fire logo and some more of his vest. He comes with this sort of bearded smiley face, which is pretty common in the Lego City line as well as this sort of dark red or burgundy fire helmet, which I think looks really, really good. Though I would prefer the silver fire helmet to this. He also has this little life jacket, so if you just pop his head off, you can insert that right on, put his head back on, and there we go. And of course, my common complaint with all the new LEGO City life jackets is that they leave a huge noticeable gap in between the head and the neck, unlike the old one, which sort of covered it up and concealed it because it was a lot bulkier. That being said, there's a lot of nice detail in that. Then of course, you get the Fire Speed Boat, which is this teeny tiny kind of sad excuse for a boat. It's a poly bag, so I can't hold much against it, but it does look kind of derpy, and it's not something I intend or anybody would really intend to keep around in their city layout. On the front here, you get these sort of dual, I guess you'd call them pontoons here that sort of stick out and separate. I don't know how well that would flow over the water since you got a flat surface right in there. You then get this sort of articulating sort of fire hose or fire nozzle or water gun on the front here that can spray any fires it might encounter. And then further along in the design, you get a very sort of simple cockpit area which is comprised nothing of nothing more than a windshield and steering wheel, which of course your fire minifigure folds right up and sits right in. And then you get these sort of blue emergency lights on the back, really just slopes. And then of course this motor, which honestly is the most redeeming part of the set, not only for its functionality, but because it contains a lot of detail for its small size. You get all these little one by two vented elements here that make it look like it's you know, very powerful and very loud, and you can see it sort of zooming across the water. Overall, I don't urge you to go out and actively seek this set unless you want the firefighter from it. I believe he comes in a couple other fire sets though. This was a poly bag, so it's not offered anymore, and honestly, you're not missing a ton, except for maybe the sort of collectible value of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.